What's up guys? Grim here. Playing with a little bit different of a setup. Uh, as you can see, I changed out my chair. Uh, probably going to get a new Lazy Boy or something like that in order to be a little more comfortable. Right now I'm in a computer chair. The other chair was just looking too raggedy. And I could not bear it anymore in the videos, put it that way. Playing some marksman action in the uh, Whitefall Steps, should I say. Uh oh, throwing down the flurry and not even being in range to hit anybody. That was a bad move, man. Alright, so... Go ahead and throw a little bit deeps on these guys. We, we've got a lot of pressure onto them. Our guys are not getting beat up much at all. It's not really a worry. Yeah, these guys are just getting out DPS'd, out healed. All together, just outplayed. Gotta remember to put my dot up so it increases my damage. Alright. Yeah, Marksman is very, very powerful right now and very fun to play in Warfronts. If you have a Marksman spec, uh, or you can use the one I provide in my build videos, uh, I'll probably have a link to it at the end of this video. Um, so you can check out my marksman build and own it up just like I do. Yep. Pressure in this healer right now. Oh. Alright. So I'm on the quest to gear up my rogue right now. All of my characters are doing a little bit rough on the gear side and I am fixing that problem as fast as I can do it. Uh, they are getting lots and lots of better pieces than they had before. Their gear is looking really nice compared to what it was before, but we still got a ways to go. We got a lot of marks to get and things to upgrade these uh, gear slots. I'm trying to deck them out in mostly frenetic gear and then get uh, you know, Frost Keeper or uh, Drown Profit gear as I get the marks for those. Uh, of course, frenetic gear is taking precedence over Frostkeeper gear, but if I get the marks for Frostkeeper, I'm going ahead and throwing it on my character in a spot that I don't have frenetic gear yet. So, we're getting geared up a bit. It's pretty nice. You guys may notice that the audio is a little bit different as well. I decided to change things around even more to where uh, I had the microphone right in front of me rather than to the side of me. Normally I had the microphone off to the side and it sounds a little more distant. This should sound like I'm right on top of the microphone. We'll see how it works out. See if you guys like it. Killing spree. All right. Capity cap. All right, one for the good guys. Let's go out here, and none of our guys yeah, seem to be... Awesome. Oh, our healer might be dying here. I was just about to say, none of our guys seem to be dying, and then our healer dies. No. Oh, and they debilitate me right off the bat. How cool are you, man? Leave me be. You're supposed to let me just DPS you down. Let's go ahead, got our dot up. Go ahead, throw the deeps onto these people. Oh, biofeedback. Alright, this is a part in the Warfront where it goes very bad for the enemy team. Because once they get driven back like this, it's such a demotivating thing. I mean, the whole team starts to go, man, you know, what's the point of even running out there? It's so disappointing. Everybody is just ready to have this Warfront over with once they get pushed back in that way. So it's always really important in Whitefall Steps to you know take over the center as soon as you can because people get demotivated very easily uh long time pvpers they probably stick with it you know they they go out there and they they'll put up a fight a lot of times you know uh but the people that are used to not being very good at pvp they give up really easy because it, it's not something they're good at it's not fun whenever they're losing and yeah it's easy to demotivate them so always get to the point where you can push the enemies back if you can 
if you lose ground you are most likely going to cause a landslide in that they are going to continue to get momentum on your team oh man see normally marksman is like an awesome kill stealer i mean just you can usually top kills with marksman pretty easy uh me i i my gear is almost to the point where i can start doing that but right now i still get a lot of kills even with crappy gear so marksman is just like that right now it's so good man all right we got a healer here i got him I stripped a few of his buffs and stuff, trying to really make it hard on him. Yeah, this guy's going down. If you got a marksman pressuring you, it used to be where it took about three DPS to bring down a healer. Nowadays, that's not the case, man. If you get a, uh, a lot of times a shaman can uh, pressure a healer and solo kill him. Uh, but really marksmen and reavers, oh my gosh, they will tear up a healer, even solo. Whenever I play uh, my Sentinel Healer and stuff, man, I'm in a lot of trouble if a uh, Reaver gets on me. My my heals are debuffed. The damage is so good and everything. It's like, man, I got to get away from this dude. And the dots are just ticking away at you. Everything is just eating at you whenever a Reaver gets on you. And Marksman is so good. They, they'll they strip the buffs of uh, the healer. They'll uh, apply dots. They'll uh, put out so much damage. And, of course, they have their uh, interrupts and debilitates and all that good stuff. So it's really good. Pyro, a lot of times, can uh, pressure a healer, too. Basically, burst classes all can do it for the most part. But, man, two classes that I, right off the top of my head, that I think are the most pressure on a healer is Reaver and Marksman. Those two are just insane whenever it comes to pressure and healers. All right, well, that was kind of a quick one. Uh, we went, let's see, eight and oh. Oh, somebody beat us out in kills by three kills. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time. Oh, wait a minute. I, I said I was going to open my Warfront uh, cache at the end of the matches. Oh, I got platinum. No, nothing to report, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, my name is Grim. I'll see you next time.